Hey, welcome back to another video. I'm Ivan Calderon and today we're making a beat. So this beat making episode is gonna be a little different because not only are we making a beat, but we're specifically gonna be using the 808 VIP pack by Booker. Now Booker, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, but he's a fellow producer who reached out and asked me if I wanted to try his latest 808 pack. And seeing how hard it is for me to find good 808s, I said yes. So then what we'll do is we'll first make a beat using some of the sounds in the pack, then I'll quickly break it down as always, and then at the very end, I'll walk you through the contents of the pack to see what's inside. I'll be linking the pack down below in case you decide to pick it up, and full disclosure, if you do decide to pick up a copy through my link, I'll get a small commission at no additional cost to you, which is a great way to support the channel. If you enter code IVAN at checkout, you'll also get 30% off the pack. So there's that for you. But without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so let's break this beat down real quick. Now let's start off with the piano, which was the first instrument that I played. And this is just kind of like a Rhodes preset that I got from Nexus, but that sounds like this. And basically this is just two main chords with some transitional chords in between. And that just repeats over to the second half. Moving down from there, we went straight to the drums. Now, I started off with some close hats and I actually have three that I layered together. So the first hat sounds like this and here we're playing eighth notes. The second hat adds on to that and this one's playing quarter notes. So the cool thing about this is that 
because of the different tonality of the the hi hats, one's more synthetic, one's more uh, live, and having them play one quarter notes and one eighth notes, we kind of get that like pseudo chug motion that I like to often do in my beats. So this was really cool to have. Finally, the last hat that I added here was another live hat, and this was to accentuate that chug motion. So I played out eighth notes and then took every other note and lowered the velocity by 50. So then all the hi hats together sound like this. Moving up from that, we added a snare, which is playing on every third beat because we are in double time, and then a clap that is doubling up with the snare on every other snare. So together, we get this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Next up, we had a crash, which just plays in the beginning, and then we had two open hats that I uh, had play off of each other, much like with the close hats. The first one is a synthetic hat, and then the second one is more of a live hat, so together they sound like this. Synthetic, live, and then it just repeats. Now the last drum in this section here was the kick. Now this is actually one of the sounds from the pack. Now the actual kick that I use is under the booming section and it's called the booty shaker. So again, the whole drum section so far sounds like this. Now once we were done with that, we went back to the melodic section and the first instrument that I added was a pad from Serum. Now I did manipulate this pad a bit, but essentially this is what, what that sounds like with the piano. Now the one thing you'll notice here is that on the pad, I only played the main two chords. These transitional chords that you see on the piano, I omitted, I only played the main chords just to kind of provide a little like foundation for the whole beat. Next up, we added our first lead, which was the harp from Nexus. And this is what that sounds like. Now I didn't show this on camera, but what I did to make this lead more interesting was I took that pattern that I played on the harp, I duplicated it into two separate plug presets from Serum. From there, what I did was I went into the first plug and I deleted every other note starting on the second note, and then went to the second plug and deleted every other note starting on the first note. Then I took the first plug, slammed it all the way to the left, and then took the second plug and slammed it all the way to the right, and together, they sound like this. They're basically playing the same uh, melody, the same pattern from the harp, but they sound like this. So you kind of get this like ping pong back and forth stereo width effect going on. And then once you add the harp, which is the original melody, which is centered, you get this. Add all the instruments back in. Now this is a trick that I got from another producer, fellow YouTuber, fellow Floridian actually from down the road in Orlando, Austin Hull, who runs a pretty successful YouTube channel called Make Pop Music. He showed this off in one of his videos and I thought it was really interesting, so shout out to him. Now the last element of this beat was the 808, and again, this is one from the pack. Now that sounds like this. Super clean 808. Now the specific 808 that I picked was in the clean section and it's called analog. And basically what I did was I played it in MIDI like you guys saw me do when I was making it, but then I bounced it to audio because I wanted to chop it up and fade out the ends to make it a little bit more smooth and clean. But once we get this in there, the whole beat now again sounds like this. All right, so let's dive into this pack. Now, this pack is primarily an 808 pack, although it does come with some kicks, but we'll talk about that in a minute. So if you open up the pack itself, you'll see that inside we have different folders, including some for the 808 loops, 808 midis, which is pretty cool, the 808 one shots, 
the product art here, an audio sample of some of the sounds, uh, one for kick loops, kick one shots, and then serum presets, because I'm assuming he made these with serum. So if you open up the 808 one shots folder, which is primarily what I was interested in, you'll see that everything here is put into three categories, and that being booming, clean, and hard. Now, one of the first few things that I noticed when I opened up these folders for the first time is that it looks like the 808s are split up into different pitches. Now, I'm typically never in a scenario where I need my 808s to be pitched, because as long as you're in Studio One, which I am, all you need is a one tune to C, and then you can pull that up into sample one and have it spread across your keyboard automatically. Maybe other dolls are different, but again, as long as you're in studio one, all you need is a one tune to C. But okay, let's run through some of these sounds and I'm only gonna be playing the ones in C, by the way. Let's go over to the clean section. Let's go over to the hard folder. So there's a couple in here that I that I like, but really my two favorite ones or my two favorite categories are booming and clean. As I mentioned in the beginning, this also comes with some kicks, so let's run through some of those real quick. So for the kicks, I'm gonna go to the kick one-shot folder, and again, we have the three categories, so let's start with booming. These are all pretty good. Finish it off with that last folder. Now that was some of the 808s and kick one shots, but the cool thing about this pack is that it's also a construction kit of sorts, because as mentioned in the beginning, it also includes loops and midis. So in theory, if you were ever to be stuck, you could pull in the loops for the kicks and the 808s and build from there to get some inspiration. What's also great is that it seems that the 808s and the kicks are also matched, so you could potentially bring in a kick and an 808 from the same category under the same name and build your beats up that way. It works the exact same way with loops, so let me show you an example. Now in here I have two loops, one for an 808 and one for a kick, and they're both matched, so they both come from the Boomin category, and they are under the Dirty Dan name. Now what's really cool about these loops is that he includes the BPM and the key, so you literally have all you need to get you going. Now once you set the BPM in place, this is what this loop combo sounds like. Now that of course was only just one example, there are plenty of other loops in the pack for you to play around with. Finally, you also have the serum presets, so if you wanna play them on MIDI or just do further tweaking, you can come in here, load up that preset into your serum, and then play them that way. But that's it for me, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to pick up your copy of the 808 VIP pack by clicking the link in the description and enter code IVAN at checkout to get 30% off. If you enjoyed the content of this channel, please also consider supporting on Patreon. There'll be a link for that down in the description below as well. But as always, like this video if you like to subscribe if you're not already. But I'll see you on the next one.